Robots may be replacing many factory workers. But what if those workers could become part robot themselves? Sounds like a science fiction movie, but KPI XY's Da Lin shows us a Bay Area company that could make that happen. Da? Well, Ken, Liz, this right here is called an exo vest. Some assembly line workers are wearing these vests to build cars. Now, I want to show you how it works, right? So I'm going to hold on to this power tool so when I bring it up, this vest will just lift it right up. I'm not using a whole lot of energy, and I can hold on to this tool for a lot longer than normally without this, without this vest. Okay. So there's backpack straps that go first. All right. Okay. It's like putting on an empty backpack. You strap the exo vest to your back and arms. Okay, okay. so now I feel like I'm, <laughs> my, my hands are floating. The vest does the lifting for you, up yeah, to 15 so pounds per arm. There's no electricity going through this device at all. It basically works through physics. Ford has been testing out the exo vest for the last six months. They provided this video of their assembly line workers wearing the vest and doing overhead tasks. They say workers lift their arms an average of 4,600 times a day. That's more than a million times a year. Ford believes the vest will reduce injuries and increase productivity. Richmond-based Exobionics made the vests. Ford workers at the end, end of the day, they were complaining to their wives about having neck pain, back pain, and so we saw this as a solution for that so that they could have more longevity. They started out with making medical products to help paraplegics walk. We did a story on the medical products a few years ago. Now they're branching out to industrial products like this zero gravity arm. I can lift this piece of metal that weighs 34 pounds with a finger. And I can go up and down and this allows me basically to perform my work all day long without any of the strain going into my body. They say the vest is not designed to replace workers, rather to help them do their jobs. Turn it on. Now my arm's floating. So this is basically kind of robotic in a way. So grab this tool. I can instantly feel this tool is a lot lighter. And it's kind of kind of forces, pushes my arm up. And if I were to work underneath a car, yeah, I can do this for a lot longer. So I've been holding on to this power tool for that duration of that story. That's about minute 50 seconds. And you can see I'm still holding on to it. It's not very tiring at all. So this vest is actually doing the job for me. Now Ford currently has four of these vests and uh, they haven't said if they'll buy more so that each worker can have one. Uh, that is something they haven't said. Now these things, you know, they, they do cost money. They're quite a few thousand dollars for each vest. Ken, Liz, back wow. to you guys. Amazing. Like Dahlin's gone difference. bionic on us. <laughs> it looks cool too. It looks so sci-fi, almost like you're in the Matrix or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dah.